It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Happy first day of spring. I feel like it's April Fool's Day because it does not feel like the first day of spring. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm wearing long sleeves. I was that cold in the house today. I wasn't even um, inspired to put on a springy shirt. I'm like, I'm putting black on. I did. I do have my springy uh, Avon necklace on. That was about as far as I got for spring. Oh my gosh. Absolutely um, horrible outside. I actually um, went uh, out for a little bit. I went grocery shopping this morning and the wind coming off the lake like was knocking me over. So it's dreary, it's cold, it's very non-springy. So we're going to bring spring in the house and I'm going to talk about all of the new soap because we're having a soap sale today. I think it goes to tomorrow, $3.95. I know a lot of people love their spring soap. So I'm going to tell you my favorites and a couple that like I don't even want to get. You know me, I'm a fall girl when it comes to soap, although I'm kind of excited about summer because sometimes they do, um, you know, some, well, actually, I like firecracker pop in the soap for the summer. I like a little bit of every season, but I'm actually kind of enjoying the florals right now. So I'm going to do my uh, least favorite to favorite. I have seven that I purchased. We're going to rank these, and I'm going to talk about a couple of new ones that have shown up. So in the number seven spot, believe it or not, is Fresh Cut Lilacs. I like the packaging. I used this yesterday though, and I'm like, um, I don't know if it was my mood or what, but I'm like, it just lingered a little too long in my hands. And I'm like, I don't know if I want this full on lilac smell um, on my hands. Lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. I have such a love-hate relationship with this. Like it is so intense. Um, I like smelling it like with my eyes closed because it's so springy. But then what I realized was that when it's on my hands, and I guess this makes sense because, you know, I don't like wearing fresh cut lilacs. I don't think I like it on me. I like it around me. <laughs> so that's why I'm like number seven. Number six is Chasing Daydreams. Uh, total A plus for the packaging. This one is bright orange zest, glowing magnolias, and sparkling sun rays. Um, it's not bad. I did try it out, though. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know if it's like a plasticky smell. I didn't love the um, after smell of this one. So these two were kind of in that, like, later ranking as number seven and number six. I don't hate them. They're just not, like, my favorites right now. Number five, I actually really like Pink Peach Blossom, which kind of surprised me. This one's Peach Nectar, Magnolia Petals, and Mandarin, which is interesting because this one has magnolias and bright orange zest. So if you're looking for like a magnolia orangey, I would go with the Pink Peach Blossom. I think it's the better choice. Um, I normally don't like peach, but when I use this one, it had like this delicious like floral fruity scent that I actually liked as a lingering scent on my hands. So go figure. I have to stop saying I don't like peach because I think I've just turned the corner. I'm liking peach now. <laughs> you know, that happens year after year. Don't you ever have that where like it changes? I do. Um, number four is my pineapple apple Prosecco. Oh, <laughs> what did I just, I just said apple, pineapple apple. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. It's pineapple prosecco. It's funny. I read it, pineapple, and then I was like focusing on the apple, and I'm like, that's not pineapple apple. It's pineapple. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, sparkling pineapple, bubbly prosecco, and white nectarine. This one's nice. Um, it's very uh fruity. It almost smells like a which makes sense. Um like a pineapple bubbly drink, but this one's nice in the kitchen. So uh, yes, on pineapple Prosecco. Number three is Brightest Bloom. I like this in the bathroom. Um, this is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, uh, Garden Carnation, Fresh Cedarwood. It just smells delightful. I like it. It's fresh. It's a nice sweet floral with a cedarwood infusion in there. Great bathroom soap. I think it's wonderful. I personally am liking that one. Um, number two is the Pink Kiwi Berry. This one is brand new. I like this one. Sweet Kiwi Candied Citrus and Sunny Orchard. Orchard. Orchards. Or, is it orchids? No, it's orchids. <laughs> Not orchard. It's orchid. I love this one. 
I gotta say, when I smelled this yesterday, um, this was actually almost a tie for number one. I couldn't decide. Number one, however, is definitely my ice lemon pound cake. Oh my gosh. Uh, glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. This one is great in the kitchen. It smells just like lemon bars. Um, so if you like the foodie arena, get this one. But if you really want to try something new and fresh, try the pink kiwi berry. I am loving this one. So those are like my top two. Um, I also noticed, of course, strawberry pound cakes available. Firefly floor, fire, firefly forest <laughs> is available. Um, online exclusive. Sparkling watermelon is a new scent. Um, I didn't think sparkling watermelon was new, but they're saying it is. Watermelon juice, bubbly, freesia, and um, sliced cantaloupe. That one scares me. The cantaloupe, I do not like cantaloupe. So I'm a little, I don't know if I want to get that one. I might try it. Of course I'll try it, but um, I didn't see it in the store. Uh, I wasn't looking too hard because I was so focused on these. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are the other ones? Um, let's see. Strawberry pound cake. Absolute. Yes. It looks pretty in the pink bottle. There's another one that I didn't think I was going to like. It's fresh rainfall in linen. That does not sound like something that I would use at all. Um, butterfly. Is my butterfly over here? Um, butterfly is always a really good choice. And then of course for the soft sale. Oops. I just dropped something. Um, don't forget like, uh, your tropicals. So if you like tropical for summer, you might want to consider stocking up on the soap sale or uh, just wait for semi annual sale because it's coming up. I feel like Easter um, definitely closing out. If you want cottontail cake pop or pink apple punch, get those now. Uh, Seaside Cove is new. I have that somewhere. Where's my Seaside Cove, you guys? That was the leaky one that they sent me another one. I didn't like it. I thought it was actually bad. Honolulu Sun is a total no for me. Don't like that one. Um, the Electric Limeade, I think, was one of my um, favorites of the line. It's totally, like, off the charts fruity. It's uh, frozen limeade, strawberry swirl, and a salt rim. I kind of liked it though. It's a nice kitchen soap. It smells really fresh and clean. Um, seaside and lime, sea salt and lime. Why am I getting the names all messed up today? I, it, it was okay. I, I wasn't like yay or nay on that one. It kind of smelled like, um, I don't know, like a lake or something. Is that weird? Um, Sunlit palm trees was new. Oh, mango mai tai is always a good one. Waikiki beach coconut. So there are a lot of soap choices, both tropical and Mother's Day. I think everyone's probably focusing like on the ice lemon pound cake, but definitely try pink kiwi berry. I think you're going to like this one. So anyway, soap sale today, first day of spring. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.